Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. I am so excited about this one. Today we're watching Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, the very first one released in 2002, starring Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, and James Franco, and Willem Dafoe, we can't forget him. One of my all-time favorite films, uh, I had to kind of come to terms, I watch this one pretty regularly, I had to kind of come to terms that just visually it does look older. There's a whole bunch of campiness and silliness to it that I completely love. This is one of the movies that has sparked the debate of who is the best Peter Parker, who is the best Spider-Man. I will maintain though that the sequel holds up in every single way to this day, but we'll get to that next time. Jen, you know I'm a big Spider-Man lover. Uh, how are you feeling going into this one? And if I'm not mistaken, you have seen this one before, just for full transparency. Is that right? So I have seen this one, but the only thing that I remember is the upside down kiss. That's it. So I'm anxious to see it again, just because I feel like I have a different perspective going in. I think the first time that I saw it, I didn't necessarily really care about, you know, any follow-up films or I, I don't know. I, I probably just went into it not caring if I was invested in the characters or not, just because I was so young. And I didn't know anything about superheroes. So obviously I've come a long way since then. I've had some exposure to the MCU. So I wanna watch it again. And then of course I wanna see the follow-up films and hopefully they are good. And I know Holden goes on and on about Spider-Man 2 <laughs> as like his favorite movie of all time. So that's been like cemented in my head. So I, I'm really anxious to see what that movie is all about. If that's like a high bar for Holden, I'm curious. Really excited to see this again, but with a different pair of goggles, I guess. And don't let me sway your opinion of it I won't. too much. I know you'll give me your honest feedback on it. Always. Um, love this movie. When we watched this with Matt, I got a lot of criticisms for quoting it too much. So I will try Probably to Probably happen again. Yeah, I'll hold my tongue this time because people, were, they hated me for quoting it at all. They were they literally was like, watching a movie with Holden has got to be the worst experience for anyone ever. And there were quite a few of those comments. So I'll make sure to zip it and just let you enjoy it and uh, enjoy it with you. But I do have a question for you. We have to figure out which version of the movie you want to watch. So we have the version? the full screen release on DVD. We have the widescreen DVD release. Y'all could see. We have the Spider-Man right limited edition DVD collector set. Same thing as widescreen, but you know. We have the initial Blu-ray run of the first one. And we have the most recent Blu-ray uh, version of it. Now, when we get to Spider-Man 2, we'll have Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 2.1, we'll have to choose. And if we're gonna watch it in Blu-ray or 4K. And I also just wanted to relive this moment again. This is when I met Sam Raimi. This is from the very first Spider-Man movie. It's a film cell from the first Spider-Man movie and it's signed by Sam Raimi to Holden from Sam Raimi. And so uh, I've uh, one of my most cherished possessions. I don't know if you can see that all that well in there. You see that? No? Yeah. Not really. If you want to see that experience, I'll link a video up there. One of the coolest moments of my life. So, and I'm just kidding, obviously, we're gonna watch it on Blu-ray. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna be a treat. Uh, try not to get too hyped. I love these these movies. People call me a Raimi fanboy or whatever. It's true, man, I love these movies. And at the end of the day, these are just my opinions on the movie. I'm not the uh, final authority on Spider-Man, but I really feel like these, at least the very first two, really capture the essence of Spider-Man. Let's just go ahead and get into it. The first Spider-Man. When the Spider-Man 2 DVD set came out, they had 10 hours of bonus stuff, and I watched it all. There used to be the TV Guide channel back in the day, and every like 20 minutes they'd show like a preview of Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and I just watched the TV Guide channel over and over again to watch the TV spot for it. Starting. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm not saying our relationship's on the line if you don't like these movies, but. That escalated quickly. <laughs> I can already see people typing. This one, this movie suck. Nostalgia goggles, horrible Peter Parker spider. Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. Mary Jane Watson. Severely oh, dislike that actress. You don't like Kirsten Dunst? I Starting off strong. <laughs> I think I wore that same outfit. Oh no, and the driver is getting pleasure out of it. Uh, you were in Jumanji, I better pull over. Don't even think about it. Oh no, uh, the yeah. geek said no. We've all been there. <gasps> High school sucks, man. If that wasn't me in school. No, no, I got my fly, honey, and I'm big time YouTuber. It gets better. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I like him. 
Peter, may I introduce my father, Norman Asborn? I've heard so much about you. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I read it doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, not if you're a genius. It's the most advanced electron microscope on the eastern seaboard. It's unreal. Varying strengths which help them in their constant... <laughs> yeah, he looks like that type. Disgusting. <sighs> yeah, I hate for little things. I love them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Now's your chance, Pete. Hey, uh, can I take your picture? Sure, yeah. Great. Where do you want me? Let's go. Not even a buy. Yeah. I've already seen the glider. That's not what I'm here for. In the trial that went wrong, what happened? What were the side effects? Insanity. And what do you recommend? That was only one test. We need to take the whole line back to formula. I'm going to pull your funding. The so they're older in this one? They're, they, yeah. They were always old in the comics. The more akin to, like, grandparents who took them in. You won't have a bite? No, thanks. Had a bite. Well, did, did... I got a crash. Everything's fine. COVID. So does this follow the comics really well? Like Pretty closely, he... yeah. The data just doesn't justify this test. Don't be a coward. 40,000 years of evolution and we barely even tapped the vastness of human potential. Could have just I know, I was just giving it back to him. It's cold. <laughs> They found his body this morning in the lab. He's been murdered, sir. What are you talking about? Wow. Hey, you have blue eyes. I, I didn't notice without your glasses. <laughs> Where does it come from? It comes out of, like, his wrist here. Oh, well, I'm out. His name is Flash. Yeah, Flash Thompson. <gasps> and Flash is supposed to be her boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> There's that guy that's an extra and everything. Freak. Just can't win, can you, Pete? Go with! <laughs> Fly! Kazam! This would be a start of a Florida man story. <laughs> I mean, I would do this. <laughs> really freaked us out. I'm sorry. Can't wait to get out of here. Sometimes you know people. You're taller than you look. I hunch. <laughs> oh my god, it's gorgeous! Exercising. I'm not dressed, Aunt May. Well, you're acting so strangely, Peter. <laughs> Going to the downtown library. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, wait, Pete. I'll uh, I'll drive you there, buddy. Thanks for the ride. Oh, oh wait a minute. We can talk later. Well, we can talk now. Start fights at school. We I don't didn't know. start that fight. I told you that. These are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become the rest of his life. Just because you can beat him up doesn't give you the right to. With great power comes great responsibility. I don't mean to lecture and I don't mean to preach. And I know I'm not your father. Then stop pretending to be. Right.
This is also out of the comics. He, he does become a, a wrestler for a little bit to make some money. That's a real wrestler. Yeah, and that macho man, Randy Savage. Bonesaw is ready. Bruce Campbell. $3,000! That's ridiculous. <laughs> WL is not responsible for any injury you may and probably have to say <laughs> said event. God be with you. Stop it. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, is really... <laughs> the next victim, please enter the arena. What's your name, kid? The human spider. That's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> the amazing Spider-Man! My name's the human <laughs> spider. I don't know. Oh, they eat you up and spit you out, little man. <laughs> Sam Raimi let Bruce Campbell be the one to call him Spider-Man for the first time in the movies. Hey, hey Brick Joe! <laughs> you're going nowhere! I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of free time! That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it said 3,000. Well, check it again, webhead. For three minutes, and you pinned them in two. For that, I give you 100, and you're lucky to get that. I need that money. I missed the part where well, that's my problem. Help! Put the huh. money in the bag. Uh, hey! Huh. Uh, stop it! Hey. Thanks. You could have taken that guy apart. I missed the part where that's my problem. Folks, keep moving, please. Please, keep moving. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, no. We just called the paramedics. They're on their way. Oh, I totally forgot about that part. Oh, he was shot by the guy that stole the money, right? Yeah. Over here, Uncle Ben. Talk about guilt. Yeah, it's a lot of that in Spider-Man. Set it south on Fifth Avenue. We got three cars in pursuit. When did this movie come out? This was 2002. Doesn't this look so fun? <laughs> Did you give him a chance? See ya. My poor Pete. Nothing would please me more than to put Norman Osborne out of business. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Congratulations. Thanks, Dad. Peter, the science award. I'm something of a scientist myself. The start of something new. Whatever. You're like a brother to Harry. Can I fix you something? No, thanks. I missed him a lot today. He tried to tell me something important, and I threw it in his face. He never doubted the man you'd grow into. With great power, comes great responsibility. Yeah. He stinks and I don't like him. <laughs> Guy with eight hands. Sounds hot. He's a criminal, that's who he is. Something goes wrong and this creepy crawler is there. Look at that, he's fleeing the scene. What's that tell you? <laughs> What's he got to hide? I make a page eight and give him 10% off. Okay. I make it 5%. That can't be done. Get out of here! <laughs> weeks we can barely get a glimpse of him oh what is he shy he doesn't want to be famous and i'll make him infamous don't tell harry we're going out didn't he tell you oh yeah right i i, I think who is it boston boston loves spider-man no waitress would wear heels to work might be part of the uniform i was thinking of something in photography Crap, 
mega crap. Headline? Spider-Man, hero or menace? He was protecting that armor. Tell you what, Atticus, you take the pictures, I'll make up the headlines, okay? I'll send you a nice box of Christmas meat. Best I can do. Get out of here. The board expects your resignation in 30 days. But you can't do this. Scumbags. You know how much I sacrificed? Remember Macy Gray? Whatever happened to her? Be just creeping a little bit. Singular wireless, you remember that? Mm. That's our glider. <laughs> Stan. Stan Lee! Oh, I miss seeing him. Classic. Out, am I? Jesus. <laughs> it's Spider Man. It's Spider Man. Well, beats taking the subway. Who are you? You know who I am. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Nice. Um, I want to buy you something. Because I want to. It'll make you feel better. What do you mean incredible? I guess he just doesn't match up. Follow the cold shiver running down your spine. What do you want? To say what you won't. To do what you can't. You killed them. We killed them. There's only one who can stop us. <laughs> Green Goblin, you like that? Mr. James. Made it up myself. <laughs> That's slander. It is not. I resent that. <laughs> slander is spoken. Print, it's libel. <laughs> Jameson, <gasps> you slime. Who's the photographer? I don't know who he is. His stuff comes in the mail. You're lying. He actually protects Peter there. Set him down, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are not so different. I'm not like you. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Here's the real truth. I could squash you like a bug right now. Imagine what we could accomplish together. He doesn't seem to like recall what he does when he's the Green Goblin. Yeah, he's like going back and forth. So is it just like at night or when he gets really angry? Well, now it's pretty much from here on out. Hey, how was your audition? They said I needed acting lessons. Uh -oh. Soap opera told me I needed acting lessons. <laughs> he wants to fornicate with her. Want some of that Watson. Did you say because he wants to fornicate with her? Is that what you said? I better run. Obviously. They want some of that MJ's Watson. Looks like sort of these guys. Hold it, Thomas uh, well, Hardman. You, luckily, Spider Man also wants her Watson. Uh oh. You have a knack for getting in trouble. I think I have a superhero stalker. I was in the neighborhood. Will I get to say thank you this time? Wait. That's how she says thank you. Make it quick, all the blood is rushing to my head. <laughs> I mean, this looks good on screen. It's, Trying to do that is just... It's probably fine for her. It's him. He's the one whose blood's going to his head and water's going up his nostrils and stuff. Definitely not telling Harry about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about Harry. <laughs> 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 Apparently so did she. My baby! I can't let you in! I'm on it. Oh crap, it's an actual infant. I thought she was just like, you know, some like six year old kid or something like. Oh, they would be okay if that one died then. No. <laughs> <laughs> but why would she leave her newborn behind? Could have been the babysitter bailed. <laughs> Like a moth to the flame. Are you in or are you out? It's you who's out, Gobby. Gobby. Trash talk is just. I know, it's a little rough. Well, that's cool. Yeah. No one says no to me. Are you trying to wake up at 6 a.m.? Mm -hmm. He's very hard on her. Like, why didn't you wear the black dress? Will yeah. you stop playing around? Work was murder. I love that line. Ew, fruitcake. Here. 
Does he know well, his suspicions? Yeah, he got suspicious there. Those the rolls look good. I know. Oh, that's awkward. Really awkward. Man, man he went oh, ham on that turkey. Too. Kill you soon. <laughs> Peter, you're bleeding. Uh, I, I stepped off a curb and, oh, that looks awful. Oh, it's nothing. How did you say that happened? This lion kid. Something has come to my attention. Enjoy the fruitcake. We Who enjoys fruitcake? I don't know. You think a woman <gasps> like that sniffing around because she likes your personality? It's beautiful too. They're all beautiful. beautiful. Oh my god. Do what you need to with her, then broom her fast. Poor MJ just cannot catch a break. Thanks for sticking up for me, Harry. For real. So just keep your mouth shut about stuff you don't understand. Harry Osborne. Yeah, Peter over here plotting. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Instruct him in the matters of loss and pain. First, we attack his heart. Deliver us. Oh, Aunt May. Finish it. <laughs> you don't mess with Aunt May. What happened? Yes. Oh, what happened? Those horrible yellow eyes. I'm in love with somebody else. You are? At least I think I am. Sneaky Something. Aunt May. <laughs> he saved my life twice, and I've never even seen his face. Sort of his unofficial photographer. Why do you have the same haircut as Peter Parker? It's parted the same area. Well, there's only two ways I could part it. Oh, me such a creeper. I know. <laughs> Looks like my boy Pete's gonna get that Watson after all. Uh. Made my move. Oh, you're right about MJ. You're right about everything. There's no one Peter cares for more. I'm going to rectify certain inequities. I love that line. Ah! A smile, finally. Haven't seen one of those on your face since Mary Jane was here. No, you were about six years old when MJ's family moved in next door. And May. Is that an angel? Would it be so dangerous to let Mary Jane know how much you care? I'll be right back. Don't go up any dark alleys. Hello? <laughs> Spider-Man, come out to play. <laughs> ah! Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. This is why only fools are heroes. Let die the woman you love, or suffer the little children. Now choose! Bye, kids. <laughs> Choosing the woman. On tight and go quickly. I can't do it. Hang on. Come on, MJ. It's time to die. Leave oh. Spider Man alone. You got a big kind of guy trying to save a bunch of kids? <laughs> you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Your friendship, and you spat in my face. <laughs> You've spun your last web, Spider Man. I'm gonna finish her nice and slow. <laughs> Mr. Osborne. Peter, thank God for you. Aunt May, you tried to kill Mary Jane. But not you. I would never hurt you. 
If anything ever happened to me, you, Peter Parker, would save me, and so you have. Believe in me, as I believed in you. I've been like a father to you. I have a father. His name was Ben Parker. Godspeed, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh. Don't tell Harry. <laughs> Nobody wants to tell Harry anything. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, Harry. One day, Spider-Man will pay. Okay, let's relax. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who pay. You must miss him so much. It's been so hard without him. When I was up there, there was only one person who I was thinking of. It was you, Pete. There's only one man who's always been there for me. I love you. Whoa. All I wanted was to tell her how much I loved her. I will always be there to take care of you. I will always be your friend. Only your friend? That's all I have to give. With great power comes great responsibility. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Just finished watching Spider-Man, the very first one. Love this movie, it's a very close place to my heart. What did you think? Kind of like Harry Potter, I feel like it's a good like introduction. It it was okay. I mean it was it was good. It was better than I remember it. I did not remember it having that much like action for whatever reason, but I did enjoy it a lot. I would like to see what the follow-up film is. I will say that I do like, and I might be in the minority here, but I like Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I, I think he's he's good as Spider-Man. I know a lot of people don't like him as Spider-Man, but I think he did a great job. I also like William Defoe. I think that he did a really great job. The actual costume for Green Goblin, I think could have been done better. The Spider-Man outfit looked perfect, looked great. But uh, the Green Goblin just like, I don't know, seemed very, very cheap. It kept me entertained. It was really heartbreaking to see his uncle die. I didn't remember that part. And that was, that was very, very sad. I like the relationship between Spider-Man and Aunt May. It's very subtle, but it is there. And um, I really enjoy it. I also like, I forgot the actor's name, but the guy that plays Harry. Uh, James Franco. James Franco. I liked his acting as well. I thought that he did a great job. I'm very curious to see what happens now that he knows. I mean, he thinks Spider-Man killed his father just for no reason at all which he doesn't know that his best friend is Spider-Man. So that is such a complicated dilemma. So I really wanna see how that pans out because I think it's just gonna be a, an explosion of events when he does find out. So can't wait for that. I, you know, the whole MJ and Harry and Spider-Man or Peter Parker trio, I, I, I don't know, I didn't really like that. I don't mind the MJ and Peter Parker like crush, but I don't like how like Harry also is involved. I guess that would be the main negative for me. I just, I cared more about like the storyline with the Green Goblin and Spider-Man than I did about like them fighting over some girl. So I don't know, that would be the main negative for me, but um, I do love the love story between Peter Parker and MJ. I think it's sweet. And that'll also be interesting to see in the follow-up film. I mean, he basically had to sacrifice any type of relationship with her in order to be Spider-Man. So where, where does that leave them in the follow-up film? Anxious to see that. I thought that it looked pretty good as far as visually. There was a couple scenes that were rough in the beginning. Um, I think when he was jumping from building to building, but that was, very, very small. I thought otherwise it looked really good. It was decent as far as a rating. I think that I would do, I'm gonna do a 7.5. Okay, I can live with all that. 
So we're good. I know that some of the visual effects, I know that the film itself looks just a little older in comparison to movies today, but I think it's great. Just about everything in this movie was taken straight out of the comics. The whole fight on the bridge was taken out of the comics. Him dying by his glider taken right out of the comics. Issue 122 of Amazing Spider-Man, if you want to be specific. Peter being this nerdy outcast, picked on kid, him having troubles finding a job, uh, all that stuff. Peter Parker, Spider-Man is supposed to be the everyman. Uh, type of character. The whole with great power comes great responsibility taken directly out of the comics. It's, it's literally his mantra. It's why he has that sense of responsibility because he should have done the right thing. Stop that guy from being robbed, let him go. And the consequence of him not doing the right thing was the death of his uncle. So it also reinforces the ones I love will be the ones who pay type of thing, which is why he's like, I can't be with MJ if I'm going to be Spider-Man. I will say that in Spider-Man 2, which you have not seen, my one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie. It takes everything that made this movie good and just goes into overdrive. They had a different director of photography. They used better camera equipment. The movie the movie holds up today. As far as special effects, visually, everything, it's, it's fantastic. Even the suit has some improvements on it. So I'm really looking forward to watching that one with you. I love that movie. It's one of my all-time favorite movies ever. So I'm okay. I'm, I'm glad this was a good intro. I can understand why maybe a movie viewer today may not think it's the greatest thing ever anymore, especially since we've been so desensitized to superhero movies, just as a culture in general. Very excited to watch the second one though. I'd probably give this one, uh, I'd, I'd give Spider-Man one, probably about an 8.5. Loved it. <laughs> it's my channel, I can have my opinion what I want. But that's it for now. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know what you thought of the first Spider-Man and our opinions and my nostalgia goggles. I'm sure I'll get many of those comments too. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun content like this. If you want to see our reaction to Spider-Man 2 and 3, consider joining me on Patreon to get early access to select videos like this one. As always, Jen and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.